All right, hey guys, so today we're gonna be starting the week 10 uh, kefir grain lab. And so I just saw my video last week, what we did is we fed them, uh, depending on which sticker they had, um, we fed them with either the milk or the uh, sugar water. And so for today only, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be feeding them with the same exact method as we did as in the previous lab. But starting from here on out, after every two days, we're gonna be changing it up a little, which you'll see in the coming videos. But for today, all we're doing is we're adding the same exact uh, growth medium for the white dots it has the experimental control respectively and for the uh, non-white dots it has the sugar water and white dots have the milk and that's all we're going to do today and so here's the video for what that looks like all right guys so as you can see here um we have we're bringing them closer to you um camera can't come any closer we have a lot of microbes um here as you can see um there's a lot of microbes here for the sugar water let me show you the second one real quick um, an exorbitant amount of microbes. Well, for the milk, let's just say they're not doing so hot. Um, you know, they always, we always lose some for the milk. Same thing here. Uh, they're looking uh, kind of weak. And so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take them out, adding some more milk, and I'll show you what they look like after I'm done. All right, guys, so I'm done adding it. Um, as you can see here, um, I've added it into the microbes. So I'm gonna show you one of this, and I'm gonna show you an example of this. Um, as you can see here, so I'm gonna let these guys incubate for approximately uh, two days. Then I'm gonna implement the new week 10 uh, procedure for the different feeding plan. And I'll get back to you guys uh, then. Thank you so much. All right guys, so this is, uh, I believe uh, this is Friday and this is the third feeding day that we have for this week's lab. Um, these are the two sugar water kefirs. And as you can see, there's a lot of them. They're growing, lovely. Um, on the other hand, the milk kefirs, um, they regenerated somehow. Um, you've got some milk in there, which we'll take out using the standard today, so they'll be clean. Um, but uh, other than that, we're gonna add sugar water on them one more time and we'll see what they look like on Sunday. I'll show you what they look like after I add the sugar water for today. All right, and so I've added the sugar water on all of them. We'll let them sit and incubate for another uh, two days and we'll check these bad boys on uh, Sunday night. And that will conclude this week's lab. Um, sugar water ones are doing great. I actually saw some regrowth of the kefir uh, microbes from the milk ones. Um, I will say though that the, uh, let's see, one of these, I can't remember right now, but I'll tell you next time. Um, they're having, a, they're, they've retained or regrown their kefir ones. The other one is just, it's gone. And um, I'm not sure which one it is, but one of these is just gone. It's just muck at this point, but I have to continue the experiment. So I'll let you guys know what it is on Sunday. Thank you very much. All right guys, so as you can see here, this is the final day for feeding. Um, the So for the controls, um, they're doing great, as you can see. Um, a lot of kefir microbes in here as expected. And I explained in my lab report that I believe personally that the kefir microbes actually grow more with the sucrose. And so um, for the milk, the I believe my kefir microbes the experimental WKGs actually do not have the lactase gene or the um, lac operon, which would allow them to break down uh, lactose, which is in milk, uh, to break that down further into glucose uh, to use in respiration. But um, uh, this one, as you can see, is just muck at this point. Um, I don't think there's any microbes left in here. On the other hand, this guy has, I think, three or four microbes that may be residing on the sides. I'll show you guys uh, what they look like after. I think today is the last feeding day, um, you know, and so I'll end this video after I show you what they look like after I feed them. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the final presentation. So, as my brother excellently explained, um, I actually did not have enough sugar water to put in everything, so this experimental control, I believe, um, the one with the zero is actually empty. There's nothing in here, so there's no point in continuing further with this. The A, the experimental one, I added uh, sugar water, and I believe I'm gonna make some more sugar water soon so that I can uh, pour it in all three in the last ones. And so this is the conclusion of the uh, week 10 experiment. All right guys, so I've completed the week 10 experiment. As we saw, the sugar water was actually much more uh, beneficial to the growth of the kefir microbes. Uh, compared to the experimental WKGs in uh, week nine, the uh, sugar water was much better because the, uh, or at least I believe that these kefir microbes have a mechanism to break down the sucrose 
into uh, glucose so they can use it for respiration. On the other hand, the kefir microbes do not have a mechanism or the laxi gene or the lac operon to break down the lactose into the uh, respective sugars that it's made out of, glucose and galactose, which can be used for respiration. And so we'll see how it continues. I'll make some more sugar water so um, they won't be uh, disturbed in any way. And so that was the end of the video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe. Um, if there's anything that I need to fix or Dr. Hom, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Thank you very much and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.